I'm doing some crazies out here today. This is a computer power supply converted into a benchtop power supply. It's incomplete because I don't have a heat gun to shrink those heat shrink in there. All I need to do is shrink those, put a, a grate over the fan, and screw it up. But it's fully functional. Darth Vader van. <laughs> so that's ground and that's plus 12 volts. It's going to my Turnigy battery charger. This thing is amazing. I just figured out it does lead acid batteries, which makes it even more amazing. I originally bought it for um, charging lithium polymer batteries and the occasional nickel metal hydride for airsoft batteries. This is wired to alligator clips, which are clipped onto these battery clamps, which came from my piece of crap battery charger, battery jump starter thing. I'm going to replace this terminal because it is nasty and I can't tight it, tighten it uh, enough to get a good connection on that terminal. That could be the source of my problem. First step here is to remove the clamp from the cables. And this is a welded joint so I just have to cut the cable at the clamp with these really crappy wire cutters. <laughs> it works though because I did it with this one. I replaced the ground already. But we were worried that two wires wouldn't be able to fit into this type of clamp, but I can make it work. A lot of little cuts and it's off. Oh, just look at the shiny new clamp that's going to go on there. From the advice I got on FordTrucks.com and YouTube from Uber Scientists, thank you guys by the way, they said make sure you get a good connection on the batteries, nice and tight battery clamps. So to make sure I'm not going to have any problems, I'm scraping some of that red paint off, making sure I get a bare metal connection. Ah, it's all about having the right tool for the job. I borrowed a file from my dad's tools, filed some of that down. Stripped one of the wires back, and there's all some sorts of green corrosion on there. It's kind of hard to file strands of copper. That's nasty. Baking soda and vinegar? There's the vinegar. There's some baking soda. Here's a toothbrush. Oh gosh, I'm making a mess. This doesn't seem to be doing anything to the corrosion. The internet said this was safe. I don't want safe, I want powerful. It smells like an elementary school science fair. Well, I got the clamp on. 13.2 volts. Okay. The battery terminal's on there. Nice and tight. Dear these days. Let's see if I can start this thing. Whoa! Nope. Oh, Brett's. Still doing that thing. Oh, wait. Now it's back to normal. Let's check voltages here. Twelve point three eight. The clamps on twelve point two three. So my brother and I started poking around with some things. I watched some videos about um, checking your alternator and your starter and the video said to check that your starter is getting enough voltage when you turn the key. So what we did is we connected one end of the multimeter to the negative terminal on the battery and the other end to the positive terminal on the starter. At least I think that's what we did. Uh, the starter it was hard to tell which was positive and negative so I put it on what I thought was positive, turned the key and the van turned on.
do anything. Yeah, it went down a little bit. <laughs>